good. <laughs> hello, hello. Yep, we got no makeup on tonight. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Usually she is chic and I am shabby, but it is what it is tonight. Um, today was a big launch day, guys. Who was excited about a launch? Um, we had 16 new items go on the website. Big day for us. It's been very busy, hence the no makeup. <laughs> um, by the way, we are the Shabby Chic Vintage Chicks. My name is Angie. This is Brittany. And uh, we're in the beautiful Rita Lakes, Ontario. And tonight, we're going to work on one of the brand new projects, guys. Who checked out the website and is excited about the new projects? Hi, Christine. Hi. Okay, so what was this one called? Do you remember? Uh, Sweet as Honey. Set. Okay. So, where do we want to start? Just jump right in? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so what piece are you going to work on first? I think I'm going to start with Grateful. Ooh, grateful. Okay. And I'm going to start off with this little guy here with the bee and the flowers. Um, when, they set, when we send them to you, they are taped together so that you don't have the jigsaw puzzle to do. Cheryl says she was really excited about the projects. Yay! We got lots of bee stuff out again. Oh, yeah. That seemed to be our big thing was bees again. Yeah. When you guys get the Grateful set, I know you're seeing it backwards right now, you're going to want to be very, very careful when you peel off the tape because these greenery are so thin and fragile. But if you've seen any of our lives before and they do break, it's fixable. Yeah. And then we're also going to work on a honey dipper tonight and we have a cool idea for adding the real honey look. Fingers crossed it works. <laughs> We've also grabbed some of our little bees <laughs> from the grab bag. Oh, yes. As add-ons. And we even brought out some of our new stands and some old favorite stands. Deb's in the house. <laughs> yep. We just couldn't get enough bees. Okay. I am going to start off with Luminous. Luminous? That's where I'm starting too. Oh, is it? Cool. It is. We didn't grab that mason jar of water, you know that? We didn't. We even discussed it beforehand. How about you start? I'll go find one. Okay. We're definitely going to need it with two of us. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, yeah. She doesn't take her seals off. That's going to be a struggle for me because you guys know I pull those things right off when I start. Reach over and grab a brush. Maybe steal one of your good brushes. What was that? Said maybe I was going to steal one of your good brushes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, As you can see, we were dry off. very well prepared tonight. <laughs> Not really. We're just winging it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> totally winging it. Sarcasm. <laughs> All right. If you're new to the Shabby Chic Vintage Chick page... Um, please let us know in the comments. Drop in, um, drop in on the conversation. I guess is what I was going to say. Just join in in the conversation. Um, <laughs> we love to hear all your comments, even if you're on the replay. Of course, if you know us, we love it when you drop a little um, hashtag live. If you see that little red button right there, just kind of helps us know who's live, who's not. Going to PEI, the first Ooh. of May. <gasps> Ooh, so cool. I got a little piece of lint in mine. I don't want that there. Just gonna scrape that right off. Ooh, that's a messy lint. It is. Hey, she put the label off. While you were gone, I told them, I'm like, ooh, she likes to keep those covers on. That's not really my thing. I usually rip those right off. <laughs> yes, you do. Yep. What brush did you take? I told you I was grabbing a good one. <laughs> we don't share well, can you tell? <laughs> and we don't have our Mr. Bottle either. Nope. <laughs> I'm the runner tonight. The old girl's getting the workout. Oof. <clears throat> have you guys been doing some crafting today? Or cleaning house for Easter? not as fun by any means but not even close 
I would be getting, if I was at home and not here working, I'd be getting some last minute Easter craft stuff for when people come over to see. That's true. That's what I'd be at. They won't look at your mess if they see what you've made pretty. Oh, is that your theory? That's my theory. <laughs> I don't know. If they walked through my craft room right now, they'd see a big mess whether there's a lot of pretty stuff or not. <laughs> Ignore my laundry pile and look at this. <laughs> Any excuse to not have to fold the laundry, right? Verilyn's in the house. Ooh, excited for Sunday. You have a lot of finished crafts for the share. Awesome. That's We're excited great. for that too. I meant to ask you this the other day. Can I enter? No. <laughs> it was worth a shop. <laughs> you already do too much shopping here in my shop. <laughs> That's true. Mike can attest to that. Are these leaves? They are. Okay. Oh, we're going silent. We are. <laughs> That's a rare focusing. Focus. We're tired from all the work we did today. But I think it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. What is your favorite piece that we launched today, Brett? I don't know. I'm torn. I'm really excited about this one. I really like our lemon garland. That I'm excited about. Oh, that's true. Yeah. But you know what's really dumb is I'm, <laughs> I'm probably stupidly excited for these stands. <laughs> yeah, you've been bugging me about those stands for a while. <laughs> these stands, you guys. Okay. I'll show you because I'm going to actually use one today. But I have an issue with all of my pieces. When I go to stand them up in my tear tray, they always want to fall over on me. Yeah. They don't want to stand up on their own. And these are really small and they're going to be... And you're having to find little things like votives or something just yeah, to stand behind to it and try and hide it. it. Yeah. When these are going to be a lifesaver. Like, I might steal a whole sheet of wood tomorrow and just cut a bunch of these. <laughs> That's why you said, you can go ahead and get ready for Easter. I'll handle this room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She'll go over to the other room and start prepping the dinner and stuff for Sunday. And I'll be in here cutting personal projects. How many orders did you get done today, Brittany? Mm, I don't know. I probably could have done better because I'm bringing home that whole bag there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go in on my frame. And I'm just going to use a Posca for this part. Um, this is the frame piece that goes. It's a second layer. Where'd your brush go? I just set it over there. Oh, I guess it could go in the water. In the right? water. That's why I was wondering. See, I like, never grab water. water I there. never grab a water. And I'm going to take a Posca as well. And I'm going to go with this maroony color. It's dark red in the Poscas for my word grateful. What size tip are you using? This one here is a three mil. Okay. And I grabbed the big chunky. What is this? Like a seven? Yeah. Yeah. I don't love my seven. It's not as bright white. No, it's not my favorite. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's the type of tip it is or what. Maybe it just absorbs the ashiness of the wood more, but I don't love it. Oh, but yours is different. See, I have a chisel tip. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one's the bullet tip. It's kind of rounded. Oh, we have the same beautiful smile. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm probably just going to switch it to the Fatter 5 just because it'll be faster. Well, that's what I was thinking because this is a big project. Yeah. And the great thing about these Poscas is it doesn't seem to really matter what size of tip you do. It still doesn't float over the edge. No. So even if your tip is wider than the piece you're doing, it doesn't have any issue. Now you were saying you have problems with your ashiness coming through? Yeah. Have you tried sanding them at all? No, because I haven't stolen a sanding block from you yet. Oh, so that's on my list tomorrow of things to hide too. <laughs> yes, you can add a sanding block to that list. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Go to their parents' place and just take everything they like and steal it and bring it home? Or is that just a me thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. Chris always said when mom was around, every time I went to her place, he'd be like, oh, here comes a car load. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tina's in the house. Hi, Tina. 
There we go. So I got my word grateful done. And I love how quick the Poskas dry. I'm going over with the second coat just to brighten it up. Um, so we didn't plan out the green, but I think this is going to be the right green. What do you think of that one? Okay. Do you like that? It's or kind not? of like an army green. So maybe not. You could daub it on the um, end of my stir stick there and check out the color. Okay. Let's try that. Or here. There's something that's not so messy. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to go in with a black. No, Did I you take the black? I think with the grateful it'll look good. Okay. And I'm going to do my bumblebee in black, but I'm not going to do his wings because there's an extra layer. Or does the extra layer cover up totally here? Yeah, the extra layer gets covered up totally, so I'm just going to leave that part. Now, if you don't have Poscas, of course, you can use acrylic paint or um, chalk paint, whatever. Um, if you don't want it to go down into all the cracks and the crevices and the edges, of course, there we go. I just started coloring that wing. Um... <laughs> You can always um, use a makeup sponge and daub it on, or um, those finger daubers, but I hate washing them, so they're not my favorite. And there's other brands of these acrylic markers as well. Um, I've tried the Craftsmart markers from Michaels. They're not as pigmented, but they do work. And Hunter has cut some things on the laser before, and he's just used Crayola markers. I wouldn't recommend it like it's not going to be a professional look but if it's just a small detail piece you could get away with it even a permanent marker would probably yeah. for a small detail piece you could get away with it and nobody's going to notice the difference for example these leaves they're so small nobody's really going to know what kind of ink or paint went into doing that right. piece now, I want my wings to be very white, so I'm actually going to grab my sponge and hopefully not shake the table too much. It's a sanding sponge that I picked up. Um, Mavis has told me that you can get them in Home Depot now. I haven't seen it there. I haven't went and looked, but um, they're my favorite. They're perfect, like, hand size. I need to get one of those. Well, you're not stealing one of those. I only have two. <laughs> You only need one at a time. No, no, though. no. I because I keep the one at the laser that's got the heavy grit, and then this is my one that sits over here for finishing. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I needed two, and that's just so you get your bright white. Yeah. Okay. It just takes off all the. So would you recommend that for my wings right here? Uh, you don't have a top layer on there. No. These ones don't get a top layer. I think the idea behind this piece here was that it would be a shadowed, but even the shadow of a bee's wings, I don't think are gonna turn out black. <laughs> so since she took that, I'm gonna grab my 3M, um, really soft sanding paper. Shows you that any sandpaper will work. And just hopefully we don't shake the table too much. Earthquake! Kidding, we don't really get earthquakes. I, we like one, I think once since we've been here in 13 years. Yeah. Not really a thing here. And actually I'm not even sure if that was a real earthquake. I think that's when the uh, gas station blew up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count. <laughs> oh, but it shook the house. <laughs> yeah. The sanding sponge is definitely easier. Okay. You're done with it? Yep. Sweet. Okay, so who's celebrating Easter this weekend? And what are you doing to celebrate? I would love to know. Are you doing the big dinner? Is it turkey? Is it ham? And do you have family coming for it? You know what I didn't realize is a lot of people will eat fish at Easter. Seriously? Yeah, that's a thing. I didn't know about it until I work also at a restaurant and the restaurant brought out a promotion that was fish and uh, I'm like why are we doing fish for Easter that seems a little bit silly but apparently a lot of people will do fish for Easter okay yeah that's new to me does anyone here do fish I love I fish I just didn't think of it as an Easter dinner ham is what I typically think of 
for Easter, but because we get a lot of people and a lot of you just like turkey. We are doing a turkey. Actually, we're doing <laughs> we are doing a turduck. Because you yeah. say I don't have the in. Yeah, you don't have the in. Does anyone know what a turduck is? <laughs> That's what we're doing. And ham. And ham. There's going to be a lot of meat at this dinner. Going to my sister's but doing cooking Polish food. Is that what I'm reading? Polish food? Polish food. Ooh. And Tina's having ham. Ham and lamb would be my typical things that I think people would do at Easter. See, I'm missing the salt meat. Yes. Yes. Brittany That's is part Newfie. So uh, the Newfie part of the family does salt meat. And uh, it's my favorite too. Like, I'll have to go visit the, uh, the in-laws sometime and uh, get my fill. <laughs> The ex-husband doesn't go there anymore, so, you know, it's safe. <laughs> I don't think Nam would mind one bit. No, she wouldn't. I've been invited. <laughs> there we go. So I just went with white for the wings. And then, no, there's no yellow, but when it gets attached on here, the yellow will come through. Right. So. Okay, so I've got my white overlay. And I got to be honest, I'm not loving, as I'm doing this, I'm not loving the white wings against the white frame. It's just too much white. So I'm going to glue that on and then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to add some sparkle. I might do that too. I mean, you're pretty much going to have to if you want this all on one tier time. Yeah. I'm going to take a peachy color, I think, to do in here because I know I'm not going to get that white back. Okay. So, I think that's what I'm going to go with. Woo! This stick fast was seriously clogged, so I, uh, I kind of cut the tip a little more. And for a stick fast thick, it's coming out like a stick fast medium. So, if you're opening your stick fast, make sure you just take the tip off. Polish sausage, kraut, dumplings, and potato salad, ham, and sweet potatoes. Whoop! We had a blot. Oh, why do you do that? I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> so, if you haven't used Posca's before, this is why you don't push down directly on your project. I don't know if they can see that. Can they? I don't know. The lighting might not be the greatest for it. No. There's a blot of my color that just splurged out everywhere on my project. Actually, it seemed to have followed the lines of, of the scoring. Oh, it didn't make a mess? No, look, if you look, it followed the scoring lines. Okay. <laughs> so it might not have been totally horrible, but don't push down on your project. That's, right. that's the moral of the story. So there's my third layer, which is the wings going on there. I'm questioning, was this a good decision to go with this color? <laughs> and I can see a tiny bit of my plain board sticking out there. So I'm just going to go over my black Posca and touch up that little edge. Now I will say this project, wow, this one um, is not being I've my friend. I've never had that problem. It's not being my friend. Okay. Um, this project has a lot more detail than our usual mm. sets. I will say that. It has a lot more detail? Yeah. Yeah. But that detail is going to be amazing when it's done. My instinct says, go ahead, bite it, rip off that label, but my teeth say no thanks. Oh, and you've chipped a tooth on a lot before, oh, haven't you? Oh, I smashed it. Yeah. I crushed it. <laughs> okay. Well on camera. Yeah, that was a fun one. That would be a great blooper, but I think we lost that one. <coughs> yeah, we've been losing a lot of our videos lately, so it's a really good idea to tune in live. Okay, so to add the bling to my wings, what I've grabbed is this. It's done by Folk Art. It's an acrylic paint, and it's called Extreme Glitter... Um, 2796E 
hologram. Okay? What if you cradle the wings? Hmm? Cradle the wings, like kind of bring them up. I'm not sure how you would do that. I'm not sure. Oh, Mavis is in the house. Mavis, live from Hawaii. I'm jealous, Mavis. Why did you not throw me in your bag? No, because I called dibs and she wouldn't take me. Wow. I've already had this debate with Tina, too. <laughs> That's why. Mavis, we're all jealous of you over here. Big time. Live from the beach. Are you actually sitting on the beach while you're talking to us? Uh -huh. That's just not fair. <laughs> crackle. Ooh, that would have looked cool. Crackle. Yes, crackle on the wings would have been very cool. It would have kind of given you those lines and stuff. Oh, that would have been a great idea. But I'm going with the glitter. But that would have been awesome. I'm going to have to remember that for another project. <gasps> Maybe I could do that. You know, on um, last week's launch, we had uh, BB and... Bumble? Um, oh, Bumble could have crackled wings. Bumble could. But he's kind of cartoony. I don't know if crackle would really go with cartoony. Well, maybe I could rustic him and you could, you know, cartoony him. I'm just tapping to try and get the excess of my overflow. Your blooper? Yeah, my little blooper. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's got some serious shimmer to it. I'm like moving it around, seeing if you catch any glimmer. I'm not seeing it, but maybe you guys are. We're very But there's some serious tonight. glimmer in there. So there we go. I've got the honeycomb. I don't know if you guys can see it. We are so bright in here. Is it because we don't have backdrop light on? Maybe. I don't know, it's just so bright. I don't know if you guys are going to get the colors of it all. No, maybe kill one of the lights back there. That's a bit better. A bit. We're working on the new Sweet as Honey set. It's still about the same. We're very, very bright. But now I can find an angle where... They can kind of see it where it's not as bright and flashy. It's a little bit better. I'm wondering if it's our overhead, honestly. Oh. <laughs> Could be. Could be. I just want to make sure you guys are able to see the color difference. Woo! Ah, there it is. Yep, that's better. This is what I said. Sometimes it's better when I work in the dark and then the lighting is actually better. Yep. Can you guys see us better now? And what about the shimmer? Can you see shimmer? Oh, a little bit. Yeah. I think we're a little okay. bit better now than we were. Sorry about that. If we're wrong, let us know. But. <laughs> okay, so what green like did you use for wings? Because I better use, or for leaves. For leaves? I use the with army green. Cut. Yeah. Better keep it the same. That's what I went with. So, I just have this little tiny. So, I just. I love how that's both of our concerns. <laughs> Are we back? Back? I think we're back now. So I decided I want to add a little extra something to it. So I grabbed one of our bees from a grab bag and I'm going to add him to it as well. Just to give him a little something special. There we go. So this is looking like a, what is it, an octagon, hexagon, hexagon? hexagon. Six size hexagon. It's <laughs> kind of looking like a hexagon lemon. Because <laughs> we got the leaves and uh, the bright hexagon. But it's all going to come together. That is kind of cute. Only kind of? I think it's adorable. Well, I haven't got the last layer on yet. Ah. Okay. I'm going to take the better stick best. S 
still waiting on us to do a how-to on that lantern again because we lost that last video. Yes, that's on our to-do list. Unfortunately, the list gets long. It does. So just a bit of stick fast around the edges. You don't have to get like every spot, but... I'm curious, guys, when it comes to you guys saying that you need a video, for example, the lantern, if we just did like an overhead without sound video, would that work for you guys? Just because sometimes with the laser going so loud, it's too hard to do an actual live on it. But if we were to do a recording of the video with like a voiceover explaining what's going on, would that work for you guys for videos like the lantern? Where we might not have time to do a full live on it, but... Because we've already done one live yeah. before and lost it, thanks to... You know, thanks Facebook. We love you. Don't don't delete this one. <laughs> she has lemon and orange trees on the property where they're staying. She's drinking a gin and tonic with really fresh lemon slices. Oh! <laughs> have you ever had gin and tonic? No. Neither have I. But... If it's For on a beach reason? right now, I'll drink pretty much anything. <laughs> we are in a rain central. Mavis says I'd be fine. Okay, because sometimes with the laser running, it's just too hard to do. You do not hear a single word. No. Nope. Not a single word that comes from our mouth. But if we were to pre record, like if we were to pre record or something, we could do a voiceover video. And then at least if you guys needed the tutorial, you would have that. I think that would kind of meet in the middle both ways, right? Okay, so I've kind of chose, um, it's a deep red, it's almost a burgundy for my flowers. Um, just because I thought it'd be a nice contrast with the yellow. Is that stick fast coming out better than the one you have? Yes. Now, mind you, mine has a big leaky hole down the side of it because my leg got stuck on. Yeah. <laughs> so, there's nothing I can really do about that one. Mm -hmm. Strong suggestion, wipe down the lid with a baby wipe before you stick your cap on your stick fast. Because if it sticks on there and you twist it too much, I split down the side, which is why I get so much glue coming out of mine. So, that would be my tip What do you today. think? Off-center it? Like yes, that? it is supposed to be off center. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm like, it doesn't line up perfectly, so should you off center it? Was my question. So because we're going to off center it, I'm thinking this one here and that one there line up and partly out here. Let's figure that out again. So I'm just adding in all my little leaves what i'm doing is i don't know if you guys can see the score lines oh right there And you know what? We spent uh, probably a solid hour earlier trying to get our mat together. It did not. Sometimes on the replay, all that goes away. Does it? Sometimes. Sometimes it does not. Why should this heart go burgundy? Because I'm going to put it right there. I think so. Okay. So it sounds like they were all in agreement that a pre-recorded 
with voiceover would work just fine. Okay. So that's good. That'll help us catch up on some of the ones that you guys might have. Yeah, because some of these tear trays can take up to like 30, 40 minutes. So we could be working on a video um, while it's cutting. Yeah. Just because some of them do take quite a while. Where did my big bee go? Very well. If you don't like it, you just paint over it. This pasta has not been used before. Where did our little dab piece go? Okay, so there's my piece pretty much done. I'll go back and do a little details after. Can you see that shimmer? I really want you to see the shimmer, that holographic shimmer. It's really pretty. It's like almost like a pearly look. Okay. That's my first one done. Nice. I'm almost done my first. Oh, can you pass me the um, canapé, I think that's called, the brown? Yeah. I'm going to be baby with you. Okay. You know what we should have been doing tonight is we should have been teaching her to take a posh. I already know what I want to be learning today. Our interchangeable ring. Okay. Which I'm going to put, I think, the Be Kind Cutie. Okay. I think I'm going to put those on it. And then I thought the other side of it could be lemon themed and we could decoupage lemons on it how many lemon napkins do we have i don't know but there's got to be some that we could put on it something it's got to be okay so, so my handle of my um do it black yeah i would say so so i took a ooh, how are we gonna get it love it there oh, we there go Okay, so I took the fine point silver of our Posca and I did the veining on it. And now I'm going to go over it with the same glittery that you used earlier. Oh, and you've holograph. still got some on the table. The yeah. holograph, yeah. Because I wanted to see what that would look like with the veining. And how thick do you put this on usually? Not really. I just lightly brush it on. Okay, so just like you would a paint button. Yep. Okay. Oh, I think the veining was a good idea. And you know what? The veining pops out even more. With the holographic. With the holographic on it. So there's my dipper. And I'm going to let that dry for a couple minutes. And then I have a cool idea. It so is cool. There we go. Can we make it out? It made the veins definitely pop more. All right. And then it's going to get attached right up there. My next piece is pretty cool. Okay, it doesn't come with all these. Let's remove that and start off with, start at the very beginning. There, I'm singing again. You are. Okay, so this is how this piece comes. It's got the honeycomb and then it's got all this ooey gooey honey and it's got a little heart in there but of course i am in love with our our little bees in that um the grab bag this is my favorite one that's in there guys he is the cutest little bee so i picked through and uh, i've got what four or five of them and then I like these ones, too, that have the veins. I like all the bees, but for this tear tray, I kind of like this look. And it ties in with the veins that I just did on mine. Yeah. So there we go. That's mine done. I added a little bee, too, from the grab bag, just to kind of fill in that space a little bit more. And that's my first piece done. Hi, babe. Mike. <laughs> 
No, I'm like, who are you no. talking to? Mike's on there. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to go back and grab my brush. And I'm just going to take off most of the water. And I'm working on this piece here next. Ooh, Karen's on. So this one here is going to be a little bit more complex. So we've got our honeycomb here. Now I'm going to pull off the tape and show you the little itty bitty pieces that are going to come on this one. So you've got all the little layers here for your bee that are going to go on top of the score lines there. Okay. So don't lose those little itty bitties. You're going to need those. But if you do, you could just paint it on. Like yeah. it's really not that big of a deal. The lines are there to show you what you need. Woo, where did I find that sweet spot? There it is. So you could just paint it or you could add the layers. It's totally up to you. If you lose the pieces or you break the pieces or whatever, or you just want to be different. It's not that big of a deal because we have the score lines included on there. But for the sake of the people who didn't lose, break, or what <laughs> decided to use it, and we're going to use it. So, my little pieces are going to be yellow. And then those are my wings. Yellow okay, costume. so because glue tends to hold better. Hi, Karen. Um, where there's not, oops, I missed a big spot, where there's not paint already, okay? Um, glue just tends to stick better there. I have left out all my, what do you call that? Right there, too. I think there's a, a drip that hangs there, though. Okay. Um, I don't know what you call it. All those lines in your honeycomb, I've just left those, you know, blank. It's not a best paint job. You can see that it's, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be hidden. And then I'm going to grab this. And what did you do yours in? I use this skin tone okay. color because I figured it's not going to be crisp white, right? That was kind of my mindset there is that it wouldn't be crisp, crisp white. on that though. I think I want to go with a cream. Okay. Yeah, it works. It's a brand new one, I guess. You need the swatch. Is this a cream too? Swatch mat. 46, 45. No, of course they're not the same. Just one point off. It's just so light. It's just like it's kind of an in-between of what you did and, uh, and a white. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I got tape stuck to me. <laughs> Are you getting sleepy yet? I am. Um, you? Yeah. It's been a very long day. I realize I'm getting awful quiet, and you know I'm quiet. I either get really silly and giddy when I'm overtired, or I get quiet. Yeah. I'm just reaching the tired part. And tomorrow we are filling orders. And uh, you also have the job of trying to organize my files on my computer. That'll be a fun one for you. Yes. I'm not the computer person at all. <laughs> I stumble through it, and then she has to come and clean up my mess. So I'm just going in and painting the belly, the legs, and the antenna of my bees. There are antenna on bees, right? Sure. It doesn't change with, anim with the different insects? Don't think so. We pulled out all of our country chic paints, and yet our go-tos are still Tosca's. Yep. 
Those are easy. They are. And there's less mess. There is. And we should really get shares in, in promoting them. So there we go. It's kind of done in a creamy, yellowy color. It's supposed to be one of the skin tones. And then that's going to glue on just like that. Sorry guys, earthquake. Just a wee little tremor. So I'm going to do the same thing on this bead that I did on the last where I use that silver pen tip Posca to do some detailing. These would probably fit in the wagon too though, eh? Ooh, they probably would. And in the easel. Yeah. Who's getting to keep this out of the two of us? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> That's not fair. So there's how we're looking so far. But you know, I've got an easel and a wagon, so I could take pictures if they came to my house. And I have a laser that can make all that. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but I'm usually busy filling the orders. <laughs> okay, so how does this go on now? It pops in. Oh, it just fits right in there perfectly. That yes. is so cool. Okay. Now my ooey gooey honey should be a different shade of yellow, right? What color of yellow are you going with your ooey gooey honey? I've been using this one. I haven't used any other. Okay. So that is, do you know what number it is? I can grab it in the thick tip. I think it's a three. Two. Okay, let's see if we've got that in a two. But the Posca wouldn't be a perfect match to the... That can't be. That's got to be lighter. Oh no, it says a two. Does it? Yep. Hmm. Yeah, because this is a 73. Just the lids don't look quite the same. That's a definite two. <clears throat> Oof. It's too close to my background color. So a number two is really stinking close to luminous. Okay. Now. Silver. And I just needed it to be a little bit different than my background color. I should have grabbed one of the great big ones for this. This could take a while. I should have grabbed <laughs> a paint color maybe for that instead. Oh, and of course the big chunkies don't have a number on them. No, but they would be They're yellow is other yellow. Language. But the yellow would be the basic yellow in that. And the two I know is a basic yellow. Well, it's a little bit different than that one, it looks like. Yep. But that one wasn't a two. Pardon? This one we said wasn't two. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's so many different shades. Yep. That's why I posted the chart. take this off so I don't smudge my colors. Oh, I think everybody's falling the asleep. the right in that glossy stuff. Holographic. Yes, the holographic. For larger pieces, I went and got chisel tips. Working on spring gnomes. Have to hobble out and get the transfer. Oh, you're still hobbling, eh? But at least you're getting around. She had foot surgery. 
Oof, that's rough. Six weeks of struggling. There we go. So I did it again the... Oh! What did you break? Oh. An antenna off. It happens. It's fixable. Wah, wah, wah. It's fixable. I'm not overly concerned. We were saying early, in case you break something, right? It's all fixable. Okay, so there's just... Can you see there's just... No, it kind of looks like the same color, but there is a hint of different color there going on with my drippy yellow. I'm going to have to stick fast it though. Sorry. No, I'm I got the other bottle. Stick fast. This is big pieces, so I don't mind if it comes out a little bit faster. Okay. There's my glue gun getting hot over there. Drop that in there. It's a little wet still. There we go. I think that's on there. Got all my little yellow pieces on there. I don't know if you guys can see that it's a different layer. Yeah, because that's like a third layer, right? Well, it's a nope, second it's layer a second on the B. Layer. But the, then he hooks on to the other piece. Yes. Which will be technically a third layer. Yes. So there we go. We're glued on. <clears throat> I'm going to take your fat one because it will mash it this really And then quick. we have a one more layer again. Which I think I'm going to go back to my original, which was the paint job. Don't you love working with me? I just leave the paintbrushes all over the counter. You do. <laughs> and you've stuck stuff in the holographic paint again. <laughs> I'm a messy crafter. She is. See, whereas I'm the tape it down to the board, keep everything organized, kind of, except for my arms, which always wind up in my paint job. Haven't done it yet, but knock on wood. I don't know where you got that here. From. Yeah, do you got paint on your arm right now? No, I mean, I don't know where you get the organization oh. from. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> yes, my mom. If only I could keep my house organized. The things that I'm working with, and I've noticed it even at night that I'm a little bit more OCD than ever before. Oh, really? Yeah, like when I set my phone down on my dresser next to like the remote control and stuff, I line it up. And I'm like, where did that come from? Even like as I'm doing it, or when I finish doing it, I set it down and then I adjust it and I'm like, why? Why Why did I just adjust the remote and the phone and anything else on the table perfectly lined up? Nobody else cares. I don't nope. even care. Yep. I told you earlier, something always breaks on me. <laughs> so there's my third layer on there and you can see it's kind of that different shade. It matches the background shade. So we've got two different. That I'm gonna want that little antenna to be glued onto well, you where probably it's gonna want, attach. Yeah, but you probably want to make sure there's both of them kind of have a little bit of something behind them, right? Yeah. So if I zoom in, you guys can see. I'm gonna try and line it up with this little honeycomb here, and I will put the glue directly on here because if I put it onto the bee, they'll just be excess everywhere. Okay, so this comes with a little heart that I just did in that burgundy color as well. Because we love our bees. Ooh, that was a little much of the stick vest. So I'm dropping my bee on first. And then once my bee is in place, then, then I'll take the antenna and I'll just 
very carefully line it up with it. And then if like mine, you can see the wood coloring, you can see where the break is. After the glue dries, I'll just go in with my black Posca, touch it up, and you won't even notice the difference. You won't even know where it's broken. I'm just doing a little second layer in a few spots here. So I'm not really writing. I'm more dotting my Posca. You could even do it with a paintbrush and some paint. And then when you zoom in, see, you can't even tell the antenna's broken. And it was definitely broken off there. Okay. And I've also got the holographic on my wings. You can kind of see it. So there we go. There's that piece done. So I got two down now. Okay. So I think this is really cute. This is how it comes. Mm -hmm. But I think if I add the little bumble piece, it's going to be really. So she doesn't get that little blotting issue, but it happened. So now I'm working on the sweet as honey sign. So this is just a piece of it. The rest of it is down here on the table. This here does pop out. It's going to make painting your backer piece so much easier. And I'm going to use our... What color did we say this was? It says dark red on the... the it's like Posca. a burgundy. Yeah. For some reason, my head wanted to say maroon. It's Ooh, not kind of. Is it? Yeah, kind of. That's where my head went to, was maroon. Maroon is not a color I typically say the word for. I never think of that word. No? I don't know. Okay. I think they have to have little black heads though, right? Mm, yes. And that tiny Posca is actually good for drawing in the lines. Because mm -hmm. I was able to do that on this one. Okay. But I should have grabbed glasses. <laughs> and I'm looking and I don't see a pair sitting there. So I've just There's left no out where the honey is going to be. I'm losing some circulation in my arm. I just noticed. The sweater's a little tight for the sleeves. So I left out where the honey is because the glue will get a better hold on it if I leave it bare. And then I'm going to go in with white for the label there. Oh, there we go. Now I can see. Like mother, like daughter, all I can think right now is I can see clearly now the rain is <laughs> I wish. Are we allowed to sing on Facebook? Or is there like copyright issues on that? <laughs> no, there's just like noise pollution. <laughs> I'm not saying anybody would sue us for our sound because we sound nothing like the other actual people. No offense. Oh, she did maybe not say none taken. <laughs> maybe that's why all my videos get taken down. Oh, copyright. It's your fault. No, I just meant the lousy singing. Oh. <laughs> what color should my backer piece be? I feel like we have so much yellow. So much yellow. Black. Really? I don't know. 
No, because the words aren't going to pop when we do black. Maybe just white. Words in yellow. Maybe just white. What do you think? Let's pull out simplicity. Okay, I'm warning you. Simplicity is very thick. It's getting to the bottom of the container. Okay. So make sure you use a wet brush. Should I use a wet brush out of that jar of yellow? Because that's going to no. tint. Yeah. And you might want to give it a stir. Okay. We're at the very bottom. It doesn't seem that bad. Well, I did give it a squirt of water last time to try and revive it. But... Would you mind passing me a brush? Ooh. The big one. Like big, big? Yeah, that one. Thank you. Okay, to everybody that checked out the website, let me know what was the piece that you were most excited about on the website today. I would love to know. Marilyn just said, love this. Bring a little sun back with you. Yeah, bring a lot of sun back with a you. A lot. Because we need it. <laughs> Badly. Info for you. Remember how I was talking to you the other day about I was transplanting my, um, oh shoot, now what are they called? Um, daffodils. Um, we had daffodils growing where I don't want them. Um, so apparently I think you're supposed to tear them up in the fall probably and move them then. Um, and I moved them just maybe a week ago. You were just left on vacation. Um, they're actually starting to bloom. So we didn't think they would bloom when we moved them at this time of the year, but they are so far so good. Do you use silver for the wings? Yes. Okay. So I was kind of excited about that. I went out today and I was like, all this rain, they are blooming. Well, they're not like in bloom yet, but pretty close. So Verilyn says she's excited about this set and the citrus slices. And Cheryl says all of them. And Wendy says, I didn't see any Mickey. LOL. I love the CC wood pieces. Need to order transfers. Yeah, those wood slices. Um, the reason we do those, well, because they're cool. We thought they'd be neat as a door hanger. Um, but the other thing is, is um, you have to buy it in a kit, right? So when you buy the kit and you get that cool mm. tray, which Brittany's really excited about the tray. Um, after, what do you do with your lemon slice? So that's when we were like, that would make a really cool door hanger too. Or um, when our transfer comes in, we're going to have to try it out. But I'm thinking even if you took, um, probably you'd have to take two of our wood cutouts and stack them and glue them. Then you could make more trays. That's yeah, what my Yeah, you would is. have to probably drill a hole. Yeah. Because we didn't put any holes. There's yeah. a reason we didn't put any holes though. Um, we didn't know what you guys would want, whether they would be trays, whether they'd be door hangers, whether they'd be, I don't know, signs, whatever. So there's no way that we could have put holes in them and them to have lined up for everybody's wish yeah. list. So you could drill a hole in them. Or use a or, crocodile. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Um, they're basically like a hole punch, right? Yeah. Doesn't even Chocotour have one of those yeah. punches? Yeah. Yeah, so if you are a CC person, they do offer those punches. And have you tried one of those punches no, on the wood? Um, oh, yeah, I've used a crocodile, but not the CC one. Okay. There was just no way that we'd be able to please everybody's wishes with it. And it cuts no it. problem at all. Okay. So just a suggestion for you guys who maybe have the transfer and you're wanting to reuse it. You guys can use it as anything you really want it to. It's just we couldn't put those holes. 
not to please everybody. But I do think it'd be cute as a door hanger. And then even if you don't want to use the little expression that's on that one, um, I'm thinking you could use one of the other lemon transfers and use the words from it to like squeeze the day or whatever other ones they had. That's my thoughts. Yeah. Now, when you know there was no Mickey stuff this time, actually today's launch was supposed to be strictly CC stuff. And we snuck in some extras of the shakers and this one, this honey tray set. Um, just for the people who aren't CC fans, so they weren't losing out on a launch day. But today was originally supposed to be just CC. And then we went a little overboard, which we tend to do quite often lately. Yeah. <laughs> it's because there's so many cute ideas to do. Right? Look at that bee. He is so stinking cute. I'm in love. That That is probably my favorite thing on our website right now, is our bee minis. Really? The grab bag. I love the grab bag. That is probably my favorite because I'm like, you can add these to anything. Like, here was my other thought. Where is it? Do, 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 do. I'm going to run away again. Um, She just say, can't sit still tonight, can she? No, no. Okay, so in my spring tier tray, I'm going to stick like little flower pot probably of flowers like this and these little tiny bees are tiny enough well you'd have to glue it oops i just lost that one um you'd have to glue them in there but like they're tiny enough that you could even add them to your little flower displays if you just hot glue it in there so that was my thought or you could stick them on the flower pots i don't know i just think there's so much you can do with those little guys and see, I'm, I'm just, so excited about that. My probably biggest excitement is the stand. He was the cutest bee and he just flew away. I don't know where he went. Me either, but he was. I can't believe you're getting down on your hands and knees to look for a bee. There's so many up here. So cute and he was already painted. He's gone, Mom. He is. That ship has sailed. He flew away. I'll find the one of sweet. <laughs> Dang. Oh, I found him. He was on the bottom of the chair. No. Oh. Wasn't even on the floor. See? Searching you shall find. Ask and it will be given to you. Don't know where that is in the Bible, but... Isn't he so cute? Thought he was a goner, but the bee came back because he couldn't stay away. She's losing it, folks. Never had it. Last marble. Gone. <laughs> Probably she left it down there on the floor with the bee. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the bees. There we go. Got my little honey pot on there. And then the sweet as, I think I'm also going to do in the... I'm flying downwards. Actually, I haven't got any green on here. Nope, he's going right there. Okay. Committed. <laughs> He just chose where he wanted to be. He didn't even be. land upside down or anything. He was just like, I belong there. I figure it's a very light background, so maybe I'd tie a little bit more of that green in with the sweet as. I know you probably wouldn't have agreed with that one, but... Are you like way behind me or? No, actually I'm not. We are almost to the point of your special little honey trick, which have you turned that on? Yep, I did. Okay. Because I'm thinking of another idea now, that's what I'm asking. Oh my gosh, they are beautiful. Look at those little bees. I think they just add to it. So sweet. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm thinking I'm not going to be able to hold it up anymore after I do this, but check this out. A birthday theme tear tray of Mickey and Minnie birthday. It is the 50th anniversary year. Is that why? <laughs> it is. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you one last time upright because from then on I'm going to have to show you on an angle. So check it out on an angle first. Okay. I am going to take glossy accents. And I'm going to do that to my middle layer. Nice. And then in our pictures tomorrow, it's going to look so cool. Okay, so now I need some yellow on all of this honey. Oh, but that was the piece that I was going to do something on. This one? Yeah, that was the one I was going to put a stand on, Mom. Guess I'm putting it on a different one now. Sorry, kiddo. Okay. But this is going to look so cool. You can still stick a stand on it tomorrow, just you can't show the people. Well, I was going to show the people how to put a stand on it. And I have to do it on some now. Well, I'll have to do it on this one. Because it's the only one that'll really work for it. You should know better than, you know, having mom stick to a plan. Yep. <clears throat> Usually it's me that goes off book. Oh Cute as gosh. a bee. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Yes. Do you see it? It's all like gooey, honey. I do love glossy accents. Like you didn't put your honey dot on your honey dot. There's this piece of honey that I'm working on right now actually goes on your dipper. Oh. Yeah. It's okay. I'll attach it for you. <clears throat> oh, I'm clogging up. There we go. There we go. So she was just missing her little bit of honey because this actually goes with mine. You know that, right? Nope, didn't know that. Yep. This actually goes with my set. I just saw it and grabbed it. No questions asked. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, but now that should have been kid carried over into other pieces. Sorry. That was a last minute brain thought. It's so cool. Cause it makes me want to shout. Kick my heels up and shout. Come on now. Cause I don't think that's how it goes. Up. I can <laughs> sing it however I want. Look at that ooey gooey honey on there can't tip it too much because it'll run all over the place um it's got to sit for like several hours but it's so cool and it looks so runny and honey and yummy all that fun stuff okay i need my dipper dude go it's attached on there <laughs> it belonged on there but i didn't want that's it how it goes yet. it stick fast <laughs> Okay. <laughs> My fun little trick, though, is I've got a clear yellow glue stick. It's actually on Amazon for auto body dents. I don't know what they use it on auto body dents for. But it was supposed to make it look like ooey gooey honey. Which actually looks like glossy accents. What do you think? Looks good. I'm just wondering, should I do the other gooey stuff too? Or should I just leave that as gooey? No, so we I have some matte and we have some glossy? No, I'd do it all. Okay. You've already committed this far. <clears throat> Don't hot glue gum my finger. Yeah, it's smoking hot. <laughs> um, this stuff, guys, it gets super, super hot. Like, it is smoking. It's not like when you use the regular glue sticks. I don't know what it's made out of, but I seen another crafter do it and I was like, gotta try it. Because it was that yellowy tint. So, while she's doing that, I'm gonna put together some of these little stands. 
that are going to hold our pieces. Okay, don't move around the um, the strings. That's what I'm telling you. Don't do it. Don't do it. But I'm doing it. Okay, how long is that going to take to dry? Because that was my backup plan for the new stand. Just a couple minutes. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> it looks so ooey gooey good. So I'm just piecing <laughs> together some stands. <laughs> Because she keeps taking what I'm going like to be one? using. Ooh, we could draw some little fun accents on here, though. Let's grab a yellow. I'm, like, creative out of control right now. I'm, like, we're going to do it all. I thought we were tired. Yep. I'm Second getting, wind has I been I am fan. getting to that point now. Watch out, world. Well, here now I you've come. put that detailing in, so now I need detailing. I'm just making you step it up a notch. Okay, tell me, tell me. Do you like the plain one or the polka dots? Come on, the polka dots are so much better. Don't you think? There it is. See? It just adds another flair. Oh. Oh, yeah, you needed that, by the way. They needed to go together. No, I mean, you needed that. That makes it look so much better. I copied her dots over onto here. What do we got over here? There's nothing on here that I can really add to. You can't now, it up. I would paint these stands black. Eh? Sure. Like, I'm not going to right now because there's no point right this second. But, if these stands were black, they'd be even better. I have a bunch of these at home that are already painted black. Well, you stole those too, did you? No, those I took a long, long time ago. Is this dry yet? Mm. What? <gasps> Don't touch that it. That was you, not me. I'm Don't fixing it, it. Don't touch it yet. Ugh. It's dry. Look at the dots. It like makes it pop. Okay, there you your stand. You can have it. Glossy accents can't stand up. This guy can. Oh my gosh! Look at the ooey gooey honey on there. Can you see the dimension of it? The gloss? The yumminess of it? She's getting silly now, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now, while you're playing around with that, hooking up your back thing, I'm going to grab one of these. Because now I want to see what it's like on wood. Okay. Just on the wood. So, if you are doing one of these stands, which, by the way, they're what? Like, I think we charge a buck seventy nine for these. So I would definitely just get these for every one of these sets that I get. For sure. What you're going to do is you're going to take whichever piece that you're going to use. You want to start by lining it up roughly however you want it to stand. So if you're going to lean it really far back or if you're going to stand it upright... And then here's what I would suggest. Can I get a pencil, please? I don't know if I have a pencil. A pencil or I guess. Oh. Or even a pointed Posca. We're going to go with that. Here's a pencil. I've already got a Posca. So I'm going to lean my shelf how I want it to be. Hope you guys can see that. And I'm going to take a little line like this and put it right there. Okay? Can you guys see my little... I think you're supposed to just stand it flat on the back. But if you stand it flat on the back, then it's going to lean like way far out. Okay. So if you do a little line, that's going to give you a rough idea. And then, so we're sure I can set this down on its face. Just making sure that her detailing there is done. So what you're going to do is then line up this stand here with that line. And you're just gonna glue it down and on there with our stick fast. So, that's the almost empty stick fast. So I'm just gonna put a little dot of stick fast and then stick the stand where the top of the stand lines up with our line. So it looks like that. And then you're going to put a little bit of glue in each of the lines. And that is where these 
little pieces here that have the hole in them are going in. And this is where you kind of got to act fast to scoop them in there. And then make sure that you press those down in there good. Wait for it to dry. It might actually be better with hot glue because it would fill up those holes even better, right? Eh? Could be. Do you want some? It's yellow though. That's okay. I think we're good. I'm going to take the eerie gooeyness and I'm just going to. Can you guys see that smoke? It's so awesome. But it's really drippy compared to the other stuff. It's a lot drippier than regular hot glue. So you got to keep moving it around a bit as it cools. But look at the gooey honey. Isn't that awesome? I was asking you. Yes, it is. Sorry. And then I'm going to stick a bee in there. Ooh, that's hot. It's really hot. I guess. Whoops. Stick a little bee in there as well. Too cool. But, okay. How I much do you trust the mat that you're on right now? Why? Because no, I have a no, different idea. No, I have an idea. No. I have an idea. No. What are you going to do? How much do you trust your mat? Oh, not very well. No. Don't this stuff is that. like automotive, super hot. Okay. Is Why, there what are you going to do to it? Well, I was thinking so that way it's like a stand. Just wait. I got an idea. Where's one of the lids here, Pete? No, that's plastic too. Well, there's got to be something that I can stick it down on. I don't know. Business card. I think you're messing it up. It's not gonna come off after. Then I'll cut around it. Dude. What do you mean, dude? Because then now you can pour down it so that way it looks like it's spilled off. Well, that would be an epoxy problem. That's what you do with epoxy. But the epoxy takes so long to dry. This would be <laughs> instant. See? Like, look, it's just freestanding. Anybody else think this was a good idea? I think this was a good idea. Does it gonna peel off? I don't know. We'll find out. But it was so cute. <laughs> See? And this is what you get for putting that all over the sign that I was going to do earlier. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Anyways, back to what I was saying. So, I've glued in there. So, now you've got a stand Ooh, she's really gooey. for your square. And when you go to put it in your tear tray, it's not going to have to be leaned up against something or fall over or anything like that. See? It stands up good. Yeah. On a business card. Well... I was willing to do it on the silicone <laughs> mat that would have peeled off, but you didn't trust it. Well, if you would have told me this, we would have cut like a splatter. What do you mean cut like a splatter? Out of, out of wood. We could have cut like a little splatter and then filled it in with the glue and then... It's a little late now. Don't you think that'd be cool if we <laughs> cut a little splatter? Brittany could easily make us a splatter. <laughs> so, see, I love these stamps. I think they're going to be the best thing on Does the it website. Work? Such a good idea, Angie. Just listen to your daughter. See? See? Genius. And I think the silicone mat would have just peeled right off. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I love the stands, I love my though. silicone mat. I'm going to be sticking these stands on pretty much every piece that I do now. I thought you didn't trust the mat. Well, I'm doing over on the edge. Just the tiniest little doll. Well, can we pull this off? No, I don't think it'll come off now. It's oof, icky. Oh, you're peeling the honey off. That's like real honey, man. It is. The faces that I'm making right now, man. Yeah, freeze frame. Well, you need more than that. Yeah, see, it pulls oh. right off. Stick a big glob on your mat. It picked right off. You better not burn a hole in my mat. They can't see it there. Do it back here. Oh, it's, oh, it's too late. Too late. It up there. <laughs> More. There we go. Okay. That's a lot. Okay, well let's let's try something. We're gonna scoop it around. Look at this. <gasps> oh not on my bee. <laughs> I'm gonna so make this into a reel on Are you Instagram. Gonna, like, lean it a bit. I did lean it a bit. There we go. 
You like the sand idea, Mavis? I think it was a good idea. Just like I think this is a good idea. Mm, perhaps. But you didn't like droop it anywhere. It's just kind of like in a blob. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to droop it somewhere, but it's not going to be pretty. Stick some up on the top of this so it kind of like pours down. It's not going to like... You don't think it would like pour down if you stuck it up on the top? I think we're making a mess. <laughs> My poor mat. <laughs> it's well loved. Here, can I oh, see? Where? Here. Oh no, she's gonna. <sighs> like that. Let it pour down naturally. There we go. Well, this looks like a seat saver now. Has anyone bought seat savers before? You know what a seat saver yes. is. Remember my Pepsi? Yeah, you're not glass of Pepsi glass. that was knocked over. It was done with like an epoxy or something. And it's onto a deck of cards that was fanned out. It was so cute. It broke now. Um, but it was super cute. This is kind of like that same idea. So, you know, I think the idea was you go to a bingo hall and you get up to, you know, go get your snack or something. And someone's going to steal your seat at bingo. And instead, when you get up, you set something down like this on your seat. And no one's going to take your seat because, well, there's honey on it. Um, and then when you come back, you just literally pick it up, stick it back in your purse and have a seat. Um, and then you probably sell lots of them too, but. <laughs> Maybe it says relax. I know what I'm doing. Oh, dude. You have no idea the trouble this girl gets into. Silicone mats can go in the oven. Like you can bake well, on these them. These aren't like baking sheets. These are like Amazon sheets. I still think silicone is silicone. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's probably going to have to sit there overnight and dry because this stuff does take a while to dry. It's starting to already harden. All right. Anywho, that's about all we got. Anybody got questions? Like how I put up with her? I could tell you. It's a lot of meds. <laughs> I'm joking. No meds involved. Okay, let's just see if we'll... But it does explain my personality a lot, right? <clears throat> no, it explains my personality, okay? Let's see here. It's not ready. It's, yeah, it's still too it's wet. It's not ready. Stop, right. Stop touching no it. <laughs> okay, so we got this cutie, which, you know, my little dots, you know, sent it over the top. Don't don't send it, set it in that I'm not. Okay. Then we got Brittany's cutie here. Where's your gun? No, you're not going to goober it up too. No, seriously, don't goober it up too. No, it's I'm so just going to put a little piece. Oh, my. Now she's obsessed with this glue. Just just a little something. Right. It's gonna drip down on him. Not He's on not him. supposed to be covered with honey. There. Just just a little bit. But it's gonna keep dripping. It'll have to stop eventually. Yeah, after it's down to B. Apparently these glue sticks, guys <laughs> They're addictive. <laughs> they're not cheap though. I wouldn't say they're like crazy expensive. They're, they aren't the price of Posca's. So let's put it that way. Um, but I think it was like maybe 20 bucks for 12. Oh, see, that looks so cute. I know. It does look like real honey though, right? You see that? Just a little bit on the honeycomb at the top. It's like the perfect shade for honey. It is. Just trying to get this one straight. There we go. Yeah, see, I think that was a good idea. Just give it a little something. Okay, so whose who's idea was this good idea? Well, you started it, and then I just escalated this, like, intensely. <laughs> Very intensely. I'm kind of like, let's stick it on here. This one here doesn't have anything. I think it's fine. Okay. He's he's basic, too. Okay. Just polka dots. Are we, are we dry yet? Are we dry yet? Are we dry yet? This is really cute. I like your little bee. Thank you. All right, guys, that's all we got. We'll take a little video of when we pull this off and post it up. So we that will, will we? See. Yeah, so they know if they can ruin their mats or not. You guys want to know <laughs> if this is going to ruin your mat, right? Like, isn't that the point of what we're doing is to show them what to and not to do? What does the bottom of my mat feel like right now? It just feels Ooh, warm. Hot. It's yeah. actually quite hot. It'd probably cool faster if you elevated that off. 
drop the link for the glue sticks. Okay. Yep. Do you know if they have the thinner glue sticks? Because these ones are thick. Yeah. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, these would not fit in my glue gun. No, because you're using the... Yeah, I'm bitties. using a standard glue gun. Yeah. Crafting glue gun. But. We can yeah, drop the link. I'll drop the link. I refined the technique. Yes, I did, Mavis. Thank you. <laughs> we'll take a little video when we go to pull this off and... So you guys know if this is a good idea or a bad idea to stick to your mat. <laughs> yeah. And for anyone that's wondering, we do have these honey dippers on the website as well. All right, guys. That's it. That's all. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>